Welcome back to the channel. That is WKRH 12 Productions. I'm Keith. Continuing our state police units across the country. Uh, they're mostly vehicles uh, across the country. These are vehicles that I have either collected or customized uh, representing each and every state police unit across the country. And uh, not playing any favorites. I really am not. <laughs> so just to, just to show you because there are people that are interested in it. And uh, therefore, I sh I'll show what I I show you what I have in my collection, and we'll keep it going until we finish the, all, all the states of the all the state police units across the country. Next unit up is the Tennessee S State Trooper, and they look good. This is a Chevy, you know, Chevy Impala, and doing a great job with this. Nicely done, two tone color, uh, two tone color. Road Champs casting. Doors open on the front passenger and driver's side doors. Trunk opens as well. And it stays in place. 143 scale uh, Road Champs casting right here. Two-tone color, black on top. Kind of beige on the... Uh, on the side kind of buttermilk cream so to speak a buttermilk color on the side has the stripe going in there yellow and black going across a little crook to the a little crook in the on the rear and it has uh, Tennessee state of Tennessee right over the uh, uh, the line and it has state trooper right underneath the state on each and there on the doors adjacent nicely done on the rear has the year of the vehicle 1996 state trooper on the uh, back two-tone color that goes from back to front not all the way to front but definitely all the way to the edge of it on the hood nicely done blue light bar on the on top just in case I missed that it does have a little girdle but Nothing to really impede the overall look of the vehicle. The Chevy Impala is beautifully done by Road Champs. They did such a good job with these 143 scale vehicles, making them police cars and first responder vehicles, because we do have first responder vehicles as well. Not of the state, but we do have some first responder vehicles as well. And for them to go out of business, man. <laughs> but it's good that other companies have picked up the slack and really kept the hobby going for police cars and first responder vehicles especially this company matchbox this is their casting this was their casting of the four crown victoria and we just made it into and we customized it into a police car we made it the tennessee state trooper because of the color because of the color scheme it had a good uh color tone that we was looking for and we just painted it black to make a two-tone just similar to the Chevy Impala and we put the state troop you know we put the customized we did the decals ourselves we put just Tennessee state uh, state of Tennessee over the bar and just like that and then had state trooper on it it made it to the door yeah and it covered the door it was beautifully done after that <laughs> we didn't care about anything else and then it had and then uh, we you know, two tones of color all the way, and did the back, detailed the backs, uh, the front, uh, the front headlights and tail lights in the back, and nicely done. Light uh, license plate on the on the rear, tinted the wheels. It looks beautiful. It has a light bar on it. We will make believe that it is a light bar, not a taxi light bar. <laughs> has a has a uh, push bar. That was customized in there already. Detailed the front, detailed the uh, the push bar as well. Nicely, nicely done. Detailed the mirror covers and detailed the colored it black. Nicely done. Nicely done. One good customized design. But this was one of the previous ones that we've done as well. So you see both sides of the work that we did nicely nicely done despite the wheel well mm, probably being a little bit wider for the decals itself but it worked out well tremendously well 
that's what we made into a police vehicle as well we also customized we also customized this vehicle as well yeah we did the decals for that uh, for this uh, police interceptor sedan we also two-toned it we like the color we two-toned the we two-toned the both colors love it yeah uh, painted it black and then we painted the uh, and then we two-toned it and painted this one with a cream with a cream color that that actually worked out it pulled it off in a two-tone stance we also made the decals as well uh, detailed the front and the rear headlights has a light already had a light bar and push bar built in on it on the sedan state police on it nicely nicely done license plate detailed the back very very well framed it detailed <clears throat> detailed it very very well nicely done colored in the colored in the hubcaps because it looks more like a police car <laughs> from New York City <laughs> but it looks more like a police car though definitely definitely has that police car appeal and a more stealthy look in the process detailed the uh, push bar as well uh, with a chrome pen and a sharpie did a fantastic job with that mm -hmm. and detailed the headlights as well detailed the grill in the front we had to crack this open to get to to reach it pro and get in hit on all of it properly on top of the you know around the front of the police vehicle and on top of the hood and make sure it had a uniform had uniformity that's why we had to crack it open and paint and paint it two-tone and you had to do it to do it anyway but nicely done all the way around love every detail about this vehicle every nook and cranny looks very good very very good we also did dodge charges on this this is the yeah this is the uh, green light dodge chargers that we customized and made into a and uh, two-toned the cut and you know two-toned the color it was already one color we just colored it black uh, to give it a, a much better appeal of course in the you know that's the uniform of the uniformity of the vehicles of the Tennessee Tennessee Highway, uh, Highway Patrol but it does have you know but we did the decals and we did the state trooper probably a little bit big on the state trooper a little bit maybe it looked a little bit cartoonish compared to the Tennessee state of Tennessee on it and the bar itself but still and we might we might make that correction and you know, fix it up and go with some thinner fonts for a state uh, state trooper fonts for the uh, Tennessee State Patrol for the Dodge Charger and nicely done we use balsa wood for the push bar we might keep it like that looks good in a, in a two-tone in a two-tone state and two-tone phase has a light bar on the top has a push bar on the you know like I said balsa wood push bar that we customized nicely done created the decals on it and just did a fantastic job and then did state trooper on the back and then put the unit and then put uh, numbers on it yeah that's more of a you know that's kind of a unit number but we pulled it off as far as our inventory as well but that's mostly for our inventory purposes but definitely nicely done this is coming from a a a, a set yeah a car set that uh, we purchased and we modified it into another into a police unit so nice we did it twice and you see it in all its glory. Nicely, nicely done. We customized this about two years ago, but definitely came off the kit. And I think we bought the kit at Toys R Us before it closed down, if I'm not mistaken. We bought several of everything. You bought several everything. Green light castings. Police castings, this, that, and the other. So these are the ones that we customized, though, and made into police and made into Tennessee State Highway Patrol uh, police cars. But this is the ones that we purchased. 
And I think you'll like the purchase ones. This one is the Tennessee State Highway Patrol Police Interceptor Utility uh, Green Light Casting. Not sure of the year 2020, 2020 for Police Interceptor Utility uh, Green Light Casting Vehicle. Nicely done. You see how they shifted the uh, lift of the end of the of the stripe up a little bit to get above the wheel well give it an angled look but uh, the way the vehicle is contoured on the doors around the doors kind of make everything that you put any decal you put on it give it an elevated or an angled look you make it look awkward on some but it's well done on this vehicle nicely done two-tone color has a light bar push bar on the on the front nicely done uh, has outstanding wheelbase we touched it up a little bit with the push bar. It didn't need anything else. On the back, has State Trooper on the back, has the license plate on it as well. Made by Greenlight. They really done a fantastic job with this vehicle. In detailing it. This is another sought after vehicle. I mean, we 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 buy more than one, but my goodness. Yeah. We can customize this one too, I think, but man, you don't need to custom, you don't, we don't need to do anything to this vehicle. This is outstanding. Well executed vehicle. Well executed in the design. Probably more executed in our customs. But it goes well saying. We learn, we enjoy the heck out of doing customs, representing state police units across the country and municipal and sheriff counties and, and federal agencies and maybe some Canadian units we might sway on as well as emergency as well as emergency vehicles <laughs> and this is just a prime example of it we are watching it right now we enjoy that you're watching WKRH 12 productions representing our state police units across the country. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications for new units, uh, state police units across the country that's coming up as we finish up on our state police units across the country. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And just thank you in general for enjoying, enjoying this and giving me an opportunity to uh, put more product in there, put more content in there. Thanks. Thanks again for everything you do, and we'll see you on the next one.